And before we start adding drummer regions, we're going to use Groove Track. That's what you're looking at right here. It just makes drum programming, what we're after is making drum programming as easy as it can be and letting drummer do all the work. So you don't have to draw in any MIDI notes or anything like that. Just let drummer play everything. All right, so we're going to use Groove Track. And if you think about it, the kit piece that usually sets the rhythm for everything is the kick drum, the bass drum. So we're going to make the bass drum our Groove Track Master. Groove Track is a global track. So you're going to go to, or it's a track header. So if you don't see Groove Track, you probably won't, go down to Track Header Components and select Groove Track. Make sure that's checked off, okay? I'll show you what that looks like, all right? So, you got Groove Track enabled. How do you set it up? All right. You're going to move your mouse pointer over the track that you want to be the master. So, this is, says set track three marching bass drum line as the Groove Track. Click on that. All right. Now, you're going to go up to all your other tracks that you want to follow that. Normally, they're going to be unchecked. And you want your marching snare and your marching tenor and any other drummer tracks that you might have, you want them to follow the marching bass drum line. Okay, save that as a template. If you haven't already. All right, so now you've got a good template. You can pretty much do any marches that you want any marching percussion at all, you're good to go right here. All right. So we're going to start off with just doing something fun. We're going to click, we're going to add a snare. So just move your mouse pointer over into the arrangement window. See how it says you got that little yellow plus sign because it's a drummer track. You can add a drummer region. It's going to fill in a region for this arrangement marker. All right, and it's just going to play snare because we've muted everything else. So now when you add when you add a drummer region like this, okay, the drummer editor opens. All right, it doesn't make any difference what you click on down here because it ain't going to play anything other than snare. So really you can leave these things alone. If you click on toms, it ain't going to play any toms because everything's, it's all been muted anyway. So just click on the snare. All right, you actually just leave it alone. I like to move the kick and snare slider all the way over to the right so I get as many uh, snare hits as I can. All right, and then dial up the fills. Actually, you can loop this while it's playing. So click on that little uh, disclosure triangle there and just loop this region. And that's actually pretty good the way it is. All right. I'm going to dial the fills up all the way. Click on details. Adjust the feel. I've already done that. Um, I like to have it uh, a little bit of pull. Dial your ghost notes all the way up. And that sounds pretty good. You got something you like, it sounds pretty good, you're going to save the beat preset. And that's what these are over here. Let the loop play. So you're going to click on the ellipsis here. You want to make sure these two things are checked off. Keep settings when changing drummers. Keep drum kit when changing drummers. Enable those, please. Then you're going to save your preset. Call it something like snare only or marching snare only. Right. And that's all there is to that. So now we've got our snare set up. Sounds pretty good. What it's playing sounds pretty good. 
you can stop looping it. All right, and then we'll move on to the tenor. All right, so now we've got uh, a snare pattern set up, at least a beginner snare pattern. I'm going to show you more about how to add embellishments to that in a minute. But we're done with the snare for right now. So now we're going to go down and highlight the marching tenor line and solo it. So I don't hear anything, so I don't hear the snare playing. All right. Now click on the little uh, uh, yellow plus sign to add a drummer region. And it's going to fill in tenor drums just for that one arrangement marker. Um, and probably not going to hear much. Yeah. All right. And that's fine. We're going to fix that in a second. All right. So we're going to, it brings up the drummer editor again. You can close the details. All right. Now in this case, okay, our tenor drums are really toms. So you will want to click on the toms. You can close the kick, close the snare. It doesn't make any difference. What we want to do I mean, it's not going to play kick or anything anyway, even if they are highlighted. It's only going to play, play the toms because everything else is muted. But what we want is, see, you'll notice that if the toms are not highlighted, we don't have access to the tom slider, and that's what we want. So click on the toms, all right, so that they're highlighted, and we want the tom slider. All right, you're going to dial the tom slider all the way up to three. And you can click on the yellow disclosure triangle here to loop it. And those are our marching, tom, our marching tenors. We can fix that. They don't sound exactly the way I want them to sound. Dial the fills up all the way. details. Dial your ghost notes up. You may not hear a lot of ghost notes on this. You want to make sure that the uh, feel is more in the pull range like it was with the snares. All right, and this is not exact. It's not perfect because remember a real marching tenor kit is at least four tenor drums and two two spot drums so it, it's, it's gonna sound a little different we have three toms to work with here all right but this is pretty good it's pretty close to what an actual tenor drum kit would sound like so we're going to save the beat preset click on the ellipsis you're going to click on keep settings when changing drummers make sure those are checked save your beat preset. Just click on save preset and name it whatever you want. I already have a beat preset I like and it's marching tenor drums. already worked on before. Again, it doesn't make any difference if the hand clap is highlighted or the kick drum or anything like that. None of those aren't playing anyway. The only thing that's playing is the three toms. And this is actually pretty good. That's what I want. So we can turn the loop off and our marching tenor uh, is set up. And the next uh, one we're going to work on is our marching bass drum line. So you can unsolo the marching tenors, uh, highlight your marching bass drum line, and solo that. All right. I'm going to click on the little yellow plus key, plus sign, to add a drummer region for that arrangement marker. And again, remember, this is just going to play bass drum. No matter what's highlighted down here, a snare, the hi-hats, the cymbals, whatever you see highlighted, none of it's going to play except the bass drum. All right. So if we just play this, 
We're going to click on this little yellow disclosure triangle to loop it. That actually doesn't sound too bad. That sounds pretty good. But I want a little more kick. So I'm going to dial my kick all the way up to 2x. Or you can change it. Something like that. Find what you like. Alright. Dial your fills up. Click on details. Make sure your feel is more in the range of a pull like the other tracks. With a with a bass drum, it doesn't really play ghost notes, so it doesn't make any difference, but uh, just for the heck of it, I like to dial it up all the way. Alright, I like what I'm hearing. I'm going to save that as a beat preset, so you click on the ellipsis, click on keep settings when changing drummers, and keep drum kit when changing drummers. Alright, I already have a bass drum preset that I like, but you could save that. If this is what you like, you would save it. I'm going to choose the one I've already selected, the one I've already created, and play it. And actually, I like that a lot. So now I've got my bass drum set up, my marching tenor line set up, and my marching snare line set up. We can hear what these babies sound like playing all together. So we're going to un-solo that and we're going to loop these three regions. It sounds pretty dark good, right? The, the way it is. That's your marching drum line. without any snare embellishments and that's in the next section of the video I'm going to show you how we add um, snare rolls and flams and stuff like that all right but this is uh, a good way to get started and then what you want what you can do uh, after this you've got one region added so you got your choice you can click and drag all these regions out through the end of the song or you can loop them through the end of the song or you can copy and paste them which is what I like to do so copy all three of them move your locator to where you want to paste them again paste them alright drag that out to the end of the arrangement marker Okay, and then do it again, paste them. Uh, I don't want to loop them out, I just want to drag them out. Drag them out to the end of the project, alright? Loop this whole thing, 12 bars. But you get the idea. You can have a lot of fun with this. All right. So you know you can you let your imagination run wild with how you want to set up your your drum line. Um, but this is a good way to to do it. And highlight all your regions. All right. You can add fills like say for example you don't you don't like something here you can 
move these up a bar and then add more right in there and it'll all sound just fine um, so anyway now uh, the next section of the video is I'm going to show you how to add uh, snare embellishments so you get your rolls and flams and stuff like that but you got what you this is what you can you can get started with this Pretty darn good, doesn't it? 